Hey, this is Horner. We're going to look at the problems uh, for section 17.3 and 17.4. Starting with number 34, we have a uniform electric field has a magnitude of 240 newtons per coulomb, and it's directed to the right. There's a particle with a charge of 4.2 nanocoulombs, and it moves in a straight line from A to B. They want to know what is the electric force that acts on the particle. So remember, electric force is just equal to Q times E. And so this is 4.2 times 10 to the negative ninth coulombs. And we're going to multiply that times 240 newtons per coulomb to the right. And we end up with 1 times 10 to the negative sixth newtons to the right. And so that's how we'll indicate direction. Next thing they want us to figure out is what is the work done on the particle by the electric field. So we know work is just equal to force times distance. So here we have that 1 times 10 to the negative 6 newtons. Our distance is 0.25 meters. And if you do the math, you should end up with 0.25 times 10 to the negative 6 joules of work. Finally, they want us to find the potential difference. And so potential difference VA minus VB is equal to E times D. We have 240 newtons per coulomb. And we have a separation distance of 0.25 meters, so you end up with 60 volts of potential. For the next problem, which is number 36, it says, suppose a uniform electric field of magnitude 100 newtons per coulomb exists in a region of space. How far apart are a pair of equipotential surfaces whose potentials differ by 1 volt? Uh, remember, our equation is V is equal to ED. So here, we're just solving for D. And that's simply just equal to the change in potential all over our electric field. Change of potential here is 1 volt. We have an electric field of 100 newtons per coulomb. And so we end up with 1 centimeter, or 0.01 meters, is our distance, or our separation. For number 39, uh, which is our next question. It says, it's believed that a large electric fish known as the torpedo uh, occidentalis uses electrical uh, energy or electricity to shock its victims. Typical fish can deliver a potential difference of about 0.2 kilovolts for a duration of 1.5 milliseconds. This pulse delivers charge at a rate of about 18 coulombs per second. They want to know what is the rate at which work is done by the electric organs during a pulse. So to do that, we know that the rate for work would be the change in work over the change in time, which remember is just power. Uh, change in work here is the charge times the potential difference, change of potential, and then uh, we have that over time. So this would be equal to the voltage times Q over delta T. Uh, we can go ahead and put in our change uh, in uh, potential, which is 0.2 times 10 to the third volts, and we'll multiply that times 18 coulombs per second. And we're going to end up with about 3,600 watts. And that's quite a bit of, uh, of work. Uh, sorry, quite a bit of energy or power. So that's really equal to power. Uh, last thing they want us to do on this one is kind of what is the total amount of work done during one pulse? So the work during one pulse is equal to the change in work over the change in time times the duration of the pulse. And so we know that W over T is about 3,600. And we know that the duration is 0 0.0015 seconds. And so here we end up with about 5.4 joules of work that's done during a pulse. Next question is number 43. We have a point P is at a potential of 500,000 volts. Uh, point S is at a potential of 200,000 volts. The space between the two is evacuated, so there's no air. When a charge of plus 2E moves from P to S, by how much does its kinetic energy change? So this one's about our energy. We know that the change in uh, kinetic is equal to negative, oops, my board freaked out on me here, negative delta U. Uh, remember, delta U is equal to Q, oops, uh, is equal to Q delta V. 
and that would be equal to, now because we have 2e, we're going to say 2 times 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th. And then we've got our change of potential, which is 200 times 10 to the third minus 500 times 10 to the third. And, uh, whoops, got to have our negative out front. Uh, and then when we're done, we're going to end up with 9.612 times 10 to the negative 14th joules. And uh, that's our answer for number 43. For the next one, which is number uh, 44, we have an electron which is accelerated from rest through a potential difference of delta V. If an electron reaches a speed of 7.26 times 10 to the 6 meters per second, what is the potential difference? And they want us to include the correct sign. Um, so for number 44, we know that the change in potential should be equal to negative Q delta V, but here we're just going to say E, since we're talking about this elementary charge delta V. Uh, it's an electron, uh, and that's equal to negative delta K, and we know kinetic energy is just one-half mv squared. So here we can say that the potential change, or the potential difference, is equal to mv squared all over 2 times that elementary charge for an electron. Uh, mass of an electron is about 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31st. Uh, next thing we need is the velocity, which is 7.26 times 10 to the 6 squared. And we're going to divide that by 2 times the charge, which is 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th. Uh, here, now we're going to end up with 150 volts. The last problem that we're going to do is number 49. And for number 49, we have an alpha particle, which is a charge of 2E, moves through a potential difference of about negative 0.5 kilovolts. Uh, its initial kinetic energy is 1.2 times 10 to the negative 16th. Then we want to know what is its final kinetic energy. So here we're just going to say the change in kinetic energy is equal to the final minus the initial kinetic energy. And that's also equal to the negative change and the potential which is equal to negative Q times delta V. And we said here we have two protons, so that's negative 2E delta V. Uh, so our final potential, I mean, sorry, final kinetic should be equal to our original kinetic minus 2E delta V. And that's uh, from the equation that we have here. All right, let's go ahead and solve now. Uh, so this is equal to 1.2 times 10 to the negative 16th minus 2 times E, which is 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th times our cha uh, change of potential, which is negative 0.5 times 10 to the third because it's kilovolts. And we uh, do our math, should end up with 2.8 times 10 to the negative 16th joules. And that is the end of the problems for section 17.3 through 17.4.